So like I said in the intro, I'm gonna try to do this all in one breath and I'm gonna say as many things as I can. So here goes. It has topology. It comes with a blow molded case. It actually has a J2534 box right in the blow molded case. It comes with a nice cradle. It actually has a kickstand. It has a camera on it. It comes with Solera Identifix. And this is not the watered down version, folks. This is the pro version. You get a one year actual subscription with this. It comes with a three year software subscription right out of the box. It comes with a two year warranty right out of the box. It has 50 service reset functions right out of the box. The list goes on. I'm gonna stop talking because we're gonna jump outside and plug into our 2016 Subaru Forester and show you even more of the capabilities. Things like topology, the bi-directional control, the list goes on. Let's jump outside and we'll plug in right now. So stick around later in the video. We're gonna do a full unbox and show you everything that's inside the case that comes with this guy. We have the J2534 plugged in and it is wirelessly connected to the Prodigy. Let me grab the Prodigy here and we're gonna dive right into the software. We got a lot going on on the screen here. I'm just gonna go ahead and click right on Diagnostic and you can see we have OBD2 and Tesla. So let me click on OBD2. There we go, and it is running now. 13.3 inch screen on this guy, really, really impressive. I'm just gonna hit auto scan to see what happens. And let's go with, eh, we'll go on the one on the left. We'll see what it does here. Yeah, yeah let's do read trouble code. Now, full disclosure, I don't know that the check engine light is on in the Subaru here. We're gonna do stored codes and we'll see what comes up. Okay, so no codes are stored in the module. Let's see if there's any pending codes, okay. So the check engine light's not on, which makes sense that there would not be any code stored. If we wanted to clear them, we could clear them in here. Let's go into the live data. Let's see if we can find any live data from the engine. It's it's actually not on right now, but uh, let's take a look at everything. We have 44 possible options coming out here. And on the bottom, we have record and pause. So let me choose a few of these. And I'm wondering if there's a way we can actually graph these. So let's touch the uh, button all the way to the right. So, okay, so that's a set of reference value. Let's do custom and see what comes up. And if we wanted to display all, there's all right there. And then let me turn the actual car on. So you see we're getting live data here, and if we want to chart it and graph it, we have a couple different options. We can do column, and we can also do, let's go back to charts, we'll do list, just like we had before. And if we want to do a graph, this is our individual graphs. I thought there was a way we could do a combination. Let me hit display all and we'll see what comes up. Let me just choose a bunch of these. I'm just gonna randomly grab a few of them and then we're gonna do custom, chart, and let's do a graph. And how many do we have in here? It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it looks like. I wonder how many we can do. Let's, let's push our luck and just grab a few more and see if we hit an upper limit in here. Oh, it's it stopped me. It looks like eight or nine, so do custom. And then chart, let's do a 2D graph and see what it does. Okay, so that's nice. This is really, really awesome to see. And if you're chasing that weird electrical gremlin, something that's not 100% you know, bad, maybe a sensor's starting to go bad, but you can see the power of this and chasing down some kind of weird, odd thing going on in the vehicle. If you wanted to record, you can just hit record and now it is recording and you can see the save button is uh, flashing so i'm going to hit save and we can actually save it that's actual data that it will export and you can take a look at and let's go ahead and hit exit i see i am readiness here we'll just look at that real real quick so here is everything and if we wanted to turn the uh, the car back on we can actually see all this and graph it if we wanted to that's kind of cool to see look at all that there's meters and then the, uh, the more typical graphs. Taking a look at the actual list on the top here, we have my vehicles, we have EV where the OBD2 section was, and then Asia, America, and Europe. And you can see all the different vehicles in here. Definitely a global tool. 
in America, we were looking for Subaru, but it's actually in the Asian market or the section, so to speak. So we're going to click on Subaru, and I'm going to do automatic detection. I'm going to do North America. Now, for some reason, it says the service is not supported, but then it gives you the screen that you're looking for. I want to hit automatic scan. I'm just going to go right in here. This is the typology. If you've never seen typology work before, it's just a visual representation of what it's actually finding in the car. It's going to go out and find every single computerized module in the vehicle and give you a visual of what might have issues, what gives a, a clean bill of health, or in this case, a green bill of health. If you see everything green, it's normal. And then the dark gray is no response, so the car is not equipped. Now, if you want to do the same thing, but just do a more common list, if you've seen this list, you've seen it once, you've seen it a million times in like, a, like you know, regular scan tools, the topology gives you a very visual uh, way to show a customer or show maybe a newer mechanic, hey, here at a glance, these are the things that you might want to take a look at. And in this case, I'm just going to click on BC and we'll see what comes up. So brake control module, we have two different codes here. And then let's uh, get back out of here. So we have PS, I'm assuming, yeah, power steering. So a really, really nice way to quickly get yourself around the car. And then if you want to come in here, let's just click Diagnose, and we'll see what happens here. So we're going to read data trouble codes. Okay, so here's our actual more traditional uh, you know, OBD2 codes kind of thing. We still have a control module, communication bus off. If we want to click on this, it doesn't look, looks like we're doing anything here, but if we want to do data trouble code reports, so we're going to have your make and model. Let's click save. And so we just made a report of this actual data. Special functions, just like it sounds, there's a lot of uh, odds and ends that you can do in here. You can really, really, as you can see, get into the weeds with this guy. And I want to go back into a few of these other areas. Go to MFD and go to diagnose. And so we have more special functions. Let's take a look in here. ECU part number, software information. We'll click on SSIM or MID. And some of this stuff you really have to, you'd almost have to be like a Subaru tech to understand how deep you're getting into some of this stuff. Actuation test, let's go into this one. Okay, so we have our lock actuator output, keyless buzzer, horn output. Let's see here. So we're going to do without monitoring data because it will give you a ton of data, but we just want to honk the horn. So uh, here's my hands. And back at the home screen here, we got a really good look at the diagnostic capabilities. We want to jump into the special functions. There's a ton of stuff here. If memory serves correct, I think we're at 53 reset functions. And we have everything from glow plug resets to throttle adaption. So the list goes on so much stuff in here that you as a shop owner, if you're a mobile mechanic looking at this thing, this is almost uh, ready to go out of the box for virtually anything you could think of on, on a car repair. But really, really impressive to see the amount of stuff in here. And let's go to report. I'm wondering if any of those reports that we saved are in here. So let me hit the X. Yeah, so here's our actual reports from earlier. And this is something you could basically give to a uh, customer. Say, hey, you have these things going on, and uh, we, we want to talk about possibly you know, fixing them for you on your vehicle and kind of give a, a price quote. Really, really cool to see all this. And then I believe I downloaded a CSV file. Yeah, so that is a CSV file. And here is the actual data from earlier. Let me click uh, play. It just kind of gives you a breakdown of the actual live data stream. And let's go to more. Stick around. We're going to jump into the Identifix next. So usual stuff in here, VCI management, endoscope. This will support an endoscope. Uh, that is a separate item on here. But let's get into the Identifix. And this is not a watered-down version. It is definitely a direct hit by the Identifix. It is a really, really solid Let's just find something here. Let's search for vehicle selection. Let's just dive right in and go to 2016 Subaru Forester. Let's go over here. And the cool thing is, is whoops, let me click on Forester. I don't remember which one this is. I think it is the XT. Let's do Touring. There we go. It has a 2 liter in it. And the cool thing is, is this is running 
in the scan tool. We're not going to a browser to where we have to like run this through a Google Chrome browser or something like you see on other scan tools. It is a direct connection to the data from Solera and a direct hit there. Let's take a look at what's on the left here. So we have fixed data, we have hotline archives, TSBs. Let's see if we can find some OEM TSBs. Okay, so these are direct Subaru TSBs right on the scan tool. Very, very cool to see. I'm not going to click on any of them, but uh, awesome to see we have that capability and access right there. And let's find, let's look at the service manuals here. Taking a look through here, we got a bunch of different manuals. I want to go to the wiring diagrams. Go to color wiring diagrams, and you can see everything that's in here. Oh, let's look at body computer. We'll see what that one looks like. Body computer, and let's click on this and see what we get. It is loading, there we go. So this is pulling directly from their system. Really, really cool to see. This is basically right on the scan tool. You're not having to log in on the computer or do anything else. You can just do this right in the shop. And let's go to power distribution. And power distribution. There we go. Oh, look at all that. That's awesome. Perfect. Let's do this one here and we'll see what comes up. Very, very impressive to see all of this data. I want to see on what's in here. Let's go back to the top. Let's poke around here for just another minute. And estimating. So it looks like this is where the labor hours come in. So we can do not just uh, only an estimate, but a parts and labor estimate, including Chilton labor and motor parts and labor. So that's the big ticket. That's what a lot of people want. And we've actually heard that with other tools that give you data, but they don't give you the actual quotable labor hours. Looking through the rest of this, we were poking around here off uh, camera. This is a $3,000 software package that comes with the Prodigy right out of the box. And uh, everything from hotlines to repair hotlines. There's a pro academy where if you want to learn, maybe have an actual newer tech sit down and they can learn in here. Um, maintenance, service manuals, the list goes on just so much stuff in here. Just on the home screen, like if you look around this home screen, there's so much going on here. Everything from the color wiring diagrams to the labor. A uh, ton of, ton of invaluable data here for any shop owner or someone who's running a garage day to day. Let's go back to the actual, let me hit the X here. There we go, back to the home screen few other odds and ends here. There are software updates. We obviously haven't updated all the software on this thing, but uh, remote control, if you want to let Xtool in, if you're having an issue, they can actually get in via team viewer and see what's going on with the scan tool. Maybe you have an issue or something going on. And then settings, you know, as usual settings, the actual measurements and then uh, language. So before we go downstairs and dig into the box and actually show you what's in the low molded case with this guy, we wanted to talk about the actual tablet itself. This is a 13.3 inch screen. It's basically almost like a laptop screen in a tablet kind of setup. It has a 9600 milliamp hour battery. I mentioned the kickstand earlier it does have a camera and it's running Android 10. And when I say running Android 10, I mean, it has most all everything you'd expect out of an Android operating system, including Chromium. So you have a web browser and you can go to YouTube and watch our videos on Fresh Vintage Garage. Make sure you subscribe too. We appreciate you watching and subscribing. Let's jump downstairs and we're going to show you what all comes in the case with this guy right now. Now that you've seen the Prodigy in action, we wanted to do like a full, full unboxing, like take it all the way out of the box. And big shout out to Xtool for sending this thing over, sponsoring the video. This is a really, really solid scan tool. If you're thinking about getting one, you can check it out on our website, scantooldepot.com. You'll find a link to this in the video description of the video you're watching right now. Taking a look at what's inside, this is actually how it comes in the box there. This is the charging dock, and I'm not going to pull that out because you've already seen it in the video. But I'll just set that up here, and it has a very nice blow molded case. So let me just go ahead and pop the metal clasps, not plastic clasps. Very nice touch there. Let's pop this open. 
has a lot of look and feel of similar skiing tools that we've tried in the past. So really, really nice packaging here. Obviously the big guys right here, so we'll look at that last, but we have our J2534 box. And I don't see any cables or anything in here. Really cool that the uh, they have the identifix and everything on this guy that you've already seen in the video. Such a solid, solid unit. Whoops, there we go. Bunch of cables. You've seen some of these in the video already, but um, a whole host of everything. There is an actual uh, cigarette adapter and various EV cables as I drop stuff on the floor there. And then in here are a ton of different individual adapters. This one, BMW 20, Benz 38. I'm not going to pull them all out of here, but you are basically getting a full one-stop shop scan tool right in this package. And I mean, between the bi-directional control and the Identifix and uh, so much other stuff, ECU coding, topology, the list goes on. I mean, you've just seen all the stuff in the video already. Uh, it really is almost a uh, diagnostic, portable diagnostic machine to go, you know, right in the box. So throw, throw it in your truck, take it with you. Uh, if you're a mobile mechanic, this is your scan tool. If you're a uh, shop owner and you're thinking about a primary tool, maybe a second tool for the shop really really solid unit we'll leave a link for this guy in the video description you're watching now if you haven't seen this on our site scan tool depot definitely go check it out like i mentioned a minute ago really really awesome unit so wrapping up the video here have the prodigy sitting on the charging cradle and overall very very impressive uh, we were talking off camera jay and i and uh, this is without a doubt the most potent scan tool we've had on the channel yet uh, so far so Big props to them for Excel for making something like this. And I'm mainly thinking of you shop owners watching the video. Um, give Xtool a look. You'll be very surprised with what they're doing. They're doing all the right things. With that, we appreciate you watching. If you like scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your cars certified fresh, fresh finished garage your channel, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.